Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review The Dark and the Wicked, the fourth feature directed by Brian Bertino, uh, which premiered at the 2020 Fantasia Film Festival. Uh, it would have also played at the 2020 Tribeca Film Festival, which of course was cancelled. Uh, it's being released November 6, 2020, courtesy of RLJE Films. Um, so if you're familiar with uh, the, any the three previous films directed by Brian Bertino, you'll uh, see a trend here of he, he likes people caught uh, in a claustrophobic uh, scenario where uh, they can't get away. I would say the tone of this very slow burn film is unrelenting and it's very unsettling and effective. Uh, and that's even more impressive considering it's a very familiar scenario. So it's set in this kind of any town uh, farmland uh, in some rural area of the U.S. Uh, where brother and sister Louise and Michael, played by Mar in Ireland and Michael Abbott Jr., uh, go to uh, visit their parents' farm where their father is uh, literally on his deathbed uh, and their mother, uh, is, who told them not to come, uh, is also having some extreme mental health issues. Um, it actually opens with her sensing a presence uh, among the goat herd, uh, but after uh, she inflicts some uh, bodily harm on herself and kills herself, uh, it's we're still kind of unclear if what she was seeing was in her head or if there is indeed uh, a supernatural presence. Uh, so it just uh, is more of a increasing sense of dread uh, as we kind of go into a descent of madness for all of the characters here. Um, Xander Berkeley appears uh, very effectively uh, as a priest who had been visiting the mother. Uh, there's an interesting dance around uh, themes of Christianity uh, and how that is kind of the impetus for letting this evil inside the home, uh, a metaphor for the wolf in sheep's clothing, which I really liked. Uh, the title itself kind of gives me a soap opera vibe. Um, it reminds me of a J. Lee Thompson title from the 50s. Uh, the Week in the Wicked, starring Glynis Johns, which is worth checking out, but of course, uh, wholly unrelated. Uh, compared to Bertino's last film, which was The Monster, starring Zoe Kazan, uh, which is also um, an effective film, claustrophobic, uh, depends highly upon the success of uh, Kazan's performance. Uh, I, I appreciate that with The Dark and the Wicked, we're able to move around a little bit more. Uh, I think it adds to this sense of dread, uh, but it really, the success of the film actually does depend on uh, the very effective performances from Ireland and Abbott Jr., uh, particularly Ireland, um, who, it's a frustrating film because it sets up a scenario where they really can't leave uh, for reasons that are detailed in the narrative, uh, but you just are kind of begging for them to do so. Uh, overall, I would give the film three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.